everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to share with you my latest creation. I made another beautiful doily book using so many beautiful things from Angel Dream Crafts, and I will point them out to you along the way. But I love, <laughs> love it. I made it in my favorite theme, which is like 1920s glam, but I, funny enough, had never made a doily book in this theme. Well, now I have, and it was an absolute joy to make. I loved every minute of it. Oh, let me turn this back. So I started out uh, with some of my favorite images, and of course they've been stickled because, you know, I have to do that. And then this beautiful trim with the rhinestones down the middle. And then I put this beautiful uh, bridal applique and this bling bow. And then there's an applique back here. And these beautiful, I think they're six millimeter rhinestones. Uh, Kim sells these individually in the shop and the sparkle on them is absolutely amazing. And then I added this little rhinestone cameo here. And then this is uh, a dangle from Kim's shop. And then I added little pearls to the bottom along the bottom isn't it pretty and then I layered on top of the doilies this so cute polka dot tool also from Kim's shop and then um, here this um, it's like layered scalloped tool with these pearls riveted in so cute so I gathered that all around also and then for uh, I bound it with uh, ribbon and lace, and there's like a giant ribbon and lace tassel with, let me see if I can, let me see if I can get this. So I also made a bead dangle, and it has this beautiful metal bow charm, some little um, pearl dangles I put together, this little beauty charm that I created. It has rhinestone cup chain, um, there's another bead dangle, there's a crown charm, and just so many sparkly bits. Love it. So that is actually uh, the binding of the doily book. Now I closed it with, I love this, and I need more of these in my life, this beautiful bling closure um, clasp. So it's tied on each end with um, some beautiful uh, lace ribbon, and then it hooks like that to close. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I got those on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I don't have any more, but I thought this book was the perfect place to uh, use that closure. And so here are the first two pages. I made a pocket page over here. I used some doilies from Kim's shop. These leaf appliques and this bow also came from Kim's shop. I added all these pearls myself to this applique. This gorgeous piece of bling is from Kim's shop. And down here, I added a bunch of flat backs, pearls and rhinestones, because this is the amazing uh, dangle, also available at Angel Dream Crafts. Love. Now on this side, another one of my favorite images. She's admiring her pearls. I just love it. And I added more of the uh, lace with the rhinestones. I added this beaded applique. And it had these um, dangling pearls here. And then I added this gorgeous bow bling from Kim's shop on top of that. And it's just, just gorgeous. And so this is a gathered lace that, I, uh, that came from Kim's shop also. It's super cool. Pretty. Love. Oh, and there's also, oh, I'm sorry. there's like rose appliques in the back. That came from a trim also from Kim's shop. More of the uh, dangles, and I added rhinestones to them. Just look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle on those. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And so on this page, on top of the doily, I added more of that pearl tool scallop lace that you can get um, at Kim's shop. 
and another layer of uh, ruffled lace right there. Some Battenberg trim that is available from Kim's shop is in the background. There's some of it sticking out here. I used a beautiful bridal applique and I used this beautiful image that of course I have stickled. Gorgeous! And a beautiful uh, bling brooch which uh, rhinestone and pearl bling brooches are also available at Angel Dream Crafts. I put on this uh, bow applique and then I added some pieces of bling from my stash. Gorgeous. I wanted this to be super blingy and it most certainly is. So this one, I love this image. I've used this image before, so you may have seen it. Um, I think I did an altered bottle with that image and it's all stickled up and I added this beautiful bridal applique that I have and it's beaded and gorgeous. I added that all around and then um, I added this, uh, it's a rhinestone and pearl trim, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then my favorite dangle from Kim Shop is here and I have just added so many rhinestones to it. You know, because you just want everything to be sparkly. A beautiful bling available from Angel Dream Crafts, which is actually on um, a piece of lace from her shop that I cut out. And then this is actually also a lace from her shop. This was in her shop, but she doesn't have any more of it. And it also had pearls on it. So that's there. And then on the back page, oh, let's get the dangles out of the way. I created this beautiful flowers using trims and appliques and bling from um, Kim's store. And then I added um, all of these uh, rhinestones and pearls. I mean, I just had so much fun in the details on this beautiful project. It was just so fun to make. And I did cut out bits of her lace and stuck here and there that are peeking out. Super, super cute. So of course I will put a link below to Kim's shop. And this was also a custom order. And I'm sorry to say that I will not be taking any more custom orders before Christmas because I am just working uh, so much that I don't really have time to create uh, like I would like to. <laughs> so my apologies in advance for that. But I want to thank you all for watching and please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up and I will see everybody on the next one.